mean, it is way too early. It is 6.29. Typically, the alarm doesn't I go off. I need coffee. <laughs> oh my Water. gosh. Yeah, we're giving her a little bit, but it's um, it's very watered down, so. Milked. Anyway, oh yeah, milked down, I should say. Very milked down. Um, so anyways, happy Halloween. Yeah, we are wide awake. We woke up at 5.30 this morning, all three of us wide awake. Don't know why, but the good thing is, speaking of, there goes my alarm. <laughs> we were already awake. Yeah, I know. Okay, back to what we were saying. What did we get, Gorda? Donuts. Donuts. Go nuts for donuts. You want the glazed? Yep. Yeah. Or you want the little circles, the holes? You want the glazed donut? Okie dokie. And these are my favorite. And Idam got these for him. And then he likes the little donut holes too, which I think is just oh so cute and funny. Good morning, Daddy. Good morning, Daddy. You know today is gonna be a good day because well, number one, it's Halloween, and number two, starting off donuts with our day. I mean, what better day can you have than donuts and Halloween? Am I right? So, anyways, I'm gonna alive. eat. Start getting a laundry ready for school, and I guess I'll just check in with you guys a little bit later. I'm not gonna be able to finish my video, which really sucks, because I really like to get my vlogs live before I pick up a laundry, so that's two days in a row I haven't been able to do it. But right now, I'm just like reviewing it before I export, just to make sure, you know, it looks okay. But anyways, I'm gonna have to put a stop on it. Um, so maintenance came, he actually just left. The light bulb, we needed a new light bulb in the kitchen. This light bulb here, as you can tell, is not on. Well, I actually unscrewed it. But he said that they don't provide light bulbs, so we have to go buy one ourselves. Which I thought was interesting because at our last apartment, they replaced all bulbs. Like if you ever needed, if you needed anything, they automatically replaced it. But anyways, we also, oof. That is disgusting and so embarrassing. I guess I've never looked at it. Holy cow, that's gross. We needed a new air filter. I'm not even gonna show, but that's nasty. All the, ooh, okay. So anyways, yeah, a new air filter. There you go, yeah, that. We needed a new that. And then as you guys already know about the bathtub, look at this, you guys. No more blackness, no more yuck. Well, I don't know what the hell that was. And he also did new caulking around here. So that got done. This is done. Looks a million times better. I'm so excited. I did notice um, after he left, of course, like this spot right here, if you guys can see it. I did notice that, uh, I don't think I'm gonna call him back just for that little spot. Which is weird too, you would think I would like notice it when I'm scrubbing the bathtub, but I think because this area like over here was such a big spot and I was so focused and concentrated on that one spot, like scrubbing the crap out of it, maybe that's why I didn't notice those two little areas. But he did say when he got here that the Dollar Tree sells something that's really good at removing all of the black and I was like okay well I'll go and check because I feel like I've tried so many different products and I haven't been able to get it out and he said it's okay I'm gonna go ahead and remove it anyways and redo it so we can't use the bathtub for 24 hours which is fine we have another bathtub but I'm glad that is done it looks so much better but you guys did in that last video comment down below and let me know a bunch of clean supplies i should try out that would probably get rid of it so that's what i'm gonna do i'm probably gonna buy every single one because i'm crazy and try those two little spots and see if it works so i hope it does i'll keep you guys updated of course i do need to clean this up but honestly i'm just gonna do that after i get a laundra idam is currently oh 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 but idam is currently at the house getting the inspection done he should probably be leaving soon i just realized it was from not, well, they said it would take an hour to an hour and a half. Our realtor was also going to meet Edam up there. And so, I guess it could take longer. If he found stuff wrong, he's probably gonna wanna show Edam. And plus, you know, guys like to talk and shoot the shit and whatnot. But anyways, I need to tinkle, so I'm gonna do that in privacy, and then we're gonna go and get Alondra. It's definitely been a little bit later, but that's okay. We are just chilling on the couch, being lazy, having some family cuddles. But now, you guys, now. What are we gonna do? Do Jasmine hair. Do Jasmine hair, that's right. So we're gonna get. Three. Oh, we're gonna do just three ligas? No, she just one way, a top and one way here, and one way here. Don't worry, girl, I got you. I know what I'm doing, okay? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna make you look fabulous. Yep. Yep. So if you aren't aware, Alondra is going to be Jasmine from the movie Aladdin, Princess Jasmine. She has been basically 
a Disney themed character every year except her very first year she was a pumpkin. I posted her pictures on my Instagram like story so if you follow me on Instagram then you would have seen it. It might still be up now. I don't know I guess it just depends. But um, anyways I'm gonna go ahead and start working on her hair. That way we can get yeah I know baby she keeps telling me how to do it. She don't trust me clearly. I'm gonna go ahead and turn Alondra into Princess Jasmine. Let's do hair first. Guys, you always need to do hair unless you can't it on and then it's supposed to be all messy, right, Bobby? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're welcome. So, so right this there. piece is always to be out, right? No. I was gonna show you. Okay. Just trust me. I'm gonna make you look so good. What do you to do I need to chat with? shook this literally took me five minutes maybe seven minutes definitely less than ten it only took me one try I didn't have to redo mess around nothing it was really easy and I'm like I am so proud of myself so here's the front and then oh my gosh look at this if the camera will focus and you have dark hair and you're wearing black yeah. So this is kind of a fail. So I think we're gonna need to change clothes because yeah, this is definitely a fail. You cannot see the hair at all. Are you ready to do the magic and become Jasmine? Yeah. All right, ready? One, two, three. Oh my gosh. Gorda, you are so beautiful. I don't know how you are so beautiful. Oh my gosh, princess. Jasmine, wow. Can you guys tell she is feeling herself? <laughs> Beautiful. All right, let's turn around and show the hair. So as you can see, hopefully I did some twists on each side. So a twist and then another twist. And then, you know, how she has the, you know, like a a ponytail and a ponytail type of thing and I just kind of pulled these out to make them come out a little bit. You look just like Princess Jasmine. Do you feel like Princess Jasmine? Yeah. You look so beautiful. Mommy is so tired to take my ears to the mall. You want to take them off? You just want to wear them when we go to the mall? Yeah. Okay, we can take them off for right now. No, you want to keep them in? Okay. And now Alondra is requesting some makeup. So, we're going to do a little bit of eyeshadow, blush, and lipstick, and you eyeshadow. little stinkers. Yes, I'm gonna do eyeshadow. Wanna go show daddy what you look like? Yep. All right, go show daddy. Go show daddy, you look so cute. Oh my gosh. And she's not wearing those shoes, by the way. Uh, she just is wearing them for right now. She's gonna wear different shoes when we go trick or treating. Oh my God. <laughs> Doesn't she look like Jasmine, dad? She I'll looks so beautiful. beautiful. Yeah, a lot more beautiful. Duh. Give, me a spin. Give daddy a spin. Because of the shoes? You can take off the shoes, baby. She looks so freaking cute. Like, I can't get over her. I think this might be my favorite costume yet. Last year, she was Moana, and she legit looked so much like Moana. Like, she looked so cute. And then she was Elsa. And Elsa was cute too. And she was Boo. Boo was cute too. I don't know. I love all her costumes, but I feel like this might be my favorite. I think so. I wish I had a picture. I don't know if I do have a picture, but I was actually, before we stopped celebrating Halloween, when I grew up, I wasn't, we weren't allowed to celebrate Halloween. We what? celebrated Halloween what? just because some people don't celebrate. So, um, so before we stopped celebrating, we did. Like I was, I remember one year I was a hot dog. The most oh embarrassing God. costume ever, oh but my it's like my dad's all time favorite picture. That is silly. And then I was a clown with like full on face paint. I looked creepy AF and I was a clown one year for Halloween and I had like a big like rainbow afro like wig. It was ridiculous. And I was Jasmine and those are the only three you costumes that you. I remember. I was Princess Jasmine when I was little. I, I think, I know. Now. I don't know how many Halloweens that we did and celebrated because I know, I think we, I think we 
stopped celebrating when I was either in first or second grade. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but I know what house we were living in at the time. So it had to have been either first or second grade when we stopped. But yes, we're going to do makeup. But anyways, I wish I could find the picture of like me as Jasmine because it's just funny that my child is Jasmine to like do like a side by side. But I don't know. I guess I'd have to like to ask double. my mom and see if she has it. But to oh, to double. But all right, let me go ahead and do her makeup because she's begging me and I just... You look so beautiful, babe. Alondra got some goodies already, you guys. Look at all this she scored just now. She got some googly glasses. She got, they asked her to chocolate or no chocolate. So she got this bag here for no chocolate. She's not that much of a chocolate person. She got a glow stick and then she got some vampire teeth. And she also got a cupcake, yummy, yummy. Yep. We saw my friends from school. Yeah, we did. I saw her lives here. Oh, she does? Yeah. That's crazy. I heard her to be Jessie. That's so cool. Our apartment complex must watch my vlogs or something, y'all. I don't know because they were handing out candy today. <laughs> Just kidding. They really don't. Well, I don't think so. But... If you guys watched the vlog, was it from yesterday? We I was like Julie. complaining. Yeah, Alondra kept saying that we saw her friend Julie at the apartment complex. I don't know because they didn't say hi to each other, but it was a little girl dressed as Jessie, and she's like, my friend Julie's gonna be Jessie. So maybe. That's her. Oh, okay, it's her. Yes, ma'am, you're right. So anyways, um, we are driving through our neighborhood right now just to see if we see kids trick-or-treating. It's currently 4.32. Yep. I think trick-or-treating usually starts around five or six in neighborhoods. Well, I'm not 100% sure. You wanna open up your candy? Okay, here's the scary house. This house right here has like all these like decorations up and every time here? we drive by, Alondra's like, oh my God, it's so scary. Look at the house, you guys, Can so cool. Like you wanna go to that house? That house goes all out for like all the holidays and it's a corner house too, so it's kind of cool that you can like see it every day. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and head to the mall. Hopefully it's not that much of a bus. I figure we can walk around for like an hour. It's from five to seven. By the way, right where we did the U-turn, there was a freaking car accident right behind us. So Edom does the U-turn, the car behind us, well, the two cars this behind morning. us. Yeah, this morning, <laughs> crash into each other. So I was on my phone, I didn't see it, but Edom was like, oh my God, the cars just crashed. And I happened to look up and you just see them. And when we were coming back from taking a laundry to school, ambulance and fire trucks and police cars were all there and the road was blocked off. I was yep. like, shit, I am so glad we left when we did because that would have sucked, like trying to get a laundry to school on time today, if that would have happened like afterwards. Anyways, I'm rambling now. So we're gonna go ahead and head to the mall do a little bit of trick-or-treating there, and then on the way home, depending on what time it is, we'll stop into one of the neighborhoods and, you know, check it out, see what's going on. We made it inside the mall. We're actually like 10 minutes early, but yeah, Alondra, there was a guy, because it says it starts at five, so we're 10 minutes early, so I don't know how, if people are gonna come out, like do the front of the door, like right at five, I assume so, if it starts at then, but there was a guy already at like the sports store and he gave Alondra a lollipop, so she already got one, so we're gonna walk around, see what candy she can get, and then we're gonna definitely go back to the neighborhoods, we think, but just, you know, make sure she keeps the jacket on and not stay out too, too late.
so much fun trick or treating inside the mall? Yeah. Yeah? Did you get a lot of candy or just a little bit? Wait. Look, where's the candy? <gasps> oh my <laughs> gosh, you got so much but candy. I know. You got a little bit and then you got a lot. Wow. That's so awesome. Like this much. Oh my gosh. Yeah, no, are you ready to go check out some neighborhoods now? Yep, I love you. I don't want you to know much in the city. Okay. We're done with the mall. We did really good. We finished the whole mall, upstairs, downstairs, and one hour. They were giving out free popcorn, free cotton candy. Um, it was while supplies last, but like I said, we got there early, so we did really good about it. But anyways, yeah, it was really good. I was pretty candy, impressed with candy. your what, baby? Can we this? Oh yeah, she's eating some nerds. We told her she could have some candy now. Don't want to make her wait. But yeah, I was actually pretty impressed. Edom was saying he was really impressed with it too, huh? I mean, her bucket got full. When we first walked in, to be honest, I was like, ooh, I don't know if it's, this is like gonna be a good situation. But it turned out fabulous. And when we went to do trick or treating one other time in a mall, we actually did Mall of America. It was Alondra's very first Halloween. Did we get there late? I don't think so, right? We didn't get there late, but it was honestly, well, it's Mall of America, number one. So it's pure chaos. And think about like Halloween, kids everywhere, like even more crazy. Actually, I don't really think, <laughs> I don't really think Mall of America is really chaotic unless you go on the weekends. If you go on the weekends, forget about it. And like Friday, but if you go like Monday through Thursday, it's really, really, really not that bad. I miss shopping in Mall of America. I miss shopping in Minnesota, period, because, hi, no tax on clothes. But, yeah, I just, I love me some Mall of America. But anyways, when we had went, a lot of stores weren't participating, and it, Mall of America, it's the largest mall, is it the largest mall in the world or the largest mall in America? I know for sure it's the largest mall in America, but so you would think all of these stores would be participating and there would be a buttload of candy. A lot of stores weren't participating, and by the time we got to a lot of stores that were participating, they ran out of candy. So it was a bit of a bust, and they had like free, you know, snacks and stuff, but while supplies last, we didn't get any of that. It was honestly chaos. So that's kind of why I was like not really feeling going to the mall like ever since that situation, but this was a really good turnout. And the lady was taking like a survey and asking people like how they heard about it. And I heard her talking to someone, this was their second year doing it. So for their second year, I don't think that's bad at all. So anyways, like I said, we're done. It's only 6.08, so now we're gonna head back to our hood, go to a neighborhood, do a little bit of tricking. <laughs> No, we're not doing no tricking. <laughs> Gonna do some trick or treating in the neighborhood, maybe for like 30-ish minutes, because Alondra is saying that her feet are tired. She's tired of walking. So maybe like 30 minutes, a couple of houses, just to like do the neighborhood as well. And then we'll go home, have some dinner. We haven't even had dinner yet. So yeah, we definitely need to have some dinner. And um, yeah, then, you know, get ready for school, because she actually has school tomorrow. I forgot, today's Thursday. I'm thinking it's like Friday or Saturday. But anyways, yeah, so far, doing really good trick-or-treating. Make sure you say trick-or-treat, okay? <laughs> hey, okay. Okay, just knock once. <laughs> <laughs> say trick-or-treat. <laughs> when she opens the door. Hi, say trick-or-treat. Hi. Hello. Oh, Hello. yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. I seriously cannot believe the first house we knocked on was, it's technically not her teacher, but she's a teacher at Alondra school and she helps with the, um, not carpool, what is that? Like when you drop off kids at school, she helps getting the kids out of the yeah. cars. So it's not her actual teacher, but it's a teacher at her school and she helps like opening the door. So that's how she knows Alondra. But it was like crazy because I looked at her and I'm like, wait a second, why do I know her? And then when she said Alondra's name, I was like, oh my God. I don't know, found that was kind of funny. But so far we found two houses and now she's going to her third. So doing pretty good. This house looks scary, oh my gosh. Are you brave enough to go, Alondra? Oh my gosh! Careful for the spiders! Run, 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 run! <laughs> okay, ring the doorbell. Right there on the side. There you go. Oh, <laughs> say trick or treat! Oh my 
my gosh, a scary house. And look, there's Ursula. She's at the scary house. Are you gonna be able to do it by yourself or you need daddy to go with you? You're gonna go all by yourself? Oh my gosh. All right. Oh, wow. So spooky. Oh, they even got ghosts hanging up. Wow. How was it, baby? Good. It was good? It wasn't scary? High five. You're so brave. Good job. Don't enter right there. It says don't enter. It does. It says do not enter. Oh my gosh. Because it's scary. It is pure chaos right now, you guys. Like, look at this. Everyone. And you cannot fit two cars. Like, I can't really show all the way down, but like literally it is so tight to get in here i think all the cars see the scary house on the corner so of course everyone is like "Ooh, definitely they'll have candy let's go check them out but yeah we hit up about 15 houses and her bucket is like more than halfway full so homegirl got a ton of candy and for 15 houses that's not bad at all and now there's definitely a ton more people out trick-or-treating um so anyways yeah i would say this is the overall trick-or-treating success what do you think gorda good it's good did you have a lot of fun yeah my favorite house was that one the scary house is your favorite one is this the best halloween ever uh -huh. yeah i'm glad you had fun baby Bye. and now we get to go home and see what candy you got yummy all right we made it home look at all this candy so we put the candy from the mall in this bag and then this is the candy from the neighborhood. So you want to dump this out and see yep. how much candy you got? Yep. Oh my gosh. Whoa, I did not mean on the floor. I meant, oh my gosh, on the table, silly. Oh my gosh. So here's her pile from the mall. Got to pick it up off the floor. And then let's see your pile here from the neighborhood. Yeah, it's dirty. Oh, you got it. Got something blocking it. Let's take this out. Now let's try. Wow. So yeah, which pile do you think you got more stuff? This the one. neighborhood or the mall? Which the one? Mall. The mall? Yeah, you did get more, but I ooh. Got oh wow, those are cool stickers. Ooh, yeah. look at this. You don't like that? Cracker Jacks, <gasps> Reese's, mommy's favorite. Can I have this? Yeah. I can have that? Oh, thank you. Yeah, ooh, yeah. look, gummy bears. Yeah. Yummy. Yeah. Ooh, peanut M&Ms. Yeah. Oh my, oh, another Reese's. Yeah. Wow, Starburst. And what did you get on this side over here? I got chocolate. Oh yeah, you got chocolate. You got two goodie bags. That's yeah. pretty cool. And another one right here. Ooh, that's a really pretty bag. Hey, what's, wow. What's in here? I don't know. Open it up and see what's inside. Okay, What'd you get else? You got some Twizzlers. Ooh, Sour Patch Kids. That's Daddy's favorite. Daddy I loves to, that. I like to share with Daddy. You're gonna share with Daddy. You got some Swedish fish. I do like those. Are these? Mm. Uh, nerds. Nerds. Yep. Like you got some stickers. Awesome. Wait, what's this? What is it? It's a flyer probably. It is, which is very, very, very smart. Business people putting in flyers. Whoa! Oh my gosh, lots of candy. Look at this, what is this? Ooh, what is that? That is like a lollipop. Super cool. Can I have one? Yeah, you can have one. So what do you say, baby? Was this the best Halloween ever? Yeah! Yeah, did you have a good time? Yeah! Okay, good, I'm glad. I love you, baby. Happy Thank Halloween. You. Happy Halloween, Duchess Hatchel. I would definitely say hands down, this is the best Halloween she's ever had. Best Halloween for all of us, to be honest. It was really good. So I guess if your mall does trick or treating, definitely check it out because you never know. It could be a hit or it could be a miss, but go there first thing, do like 30 minutes or an hour and then go to your neighborhood because then you get like double the candy. So I don't know, it worked out really well for us. So I hope you guys had a happy and safe Halloween, you had a fun trick-or-treating or doing whatever you did. And I'm honestly just gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. It's 7.14. We're gonna get ready to have some dinner. We're gonna have some grilled cheese sandwiches and tomato soup because that sounds amazing on this chilly, chilly night. So 
that is all that I have for this video. Again, I hope you guys did have a happy Halloween. If you do celebrate, if not, I hope you just had an amazing day. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be the last vlog, um, not like forever, but I'm pretty sure, so like this vlog should go up Friday. And then Saturday will either be my grocery haul or it'll be my November monthly plan with me. And then Monday will be my weekly plan with me. So then Tuesdays will start the vlogs. I think that's what I'm gonna do just because tomorrow or when you're seeing this, it'll be November 1st. So I want my November monthly plan with me to go up, you know, around the first. So I think that's what I'm gonna do if I can get all of my stickers and the filming and stuff like that done. So. We shall see, but that's kind of the plan. So if you don't see a vlog for three days, that is why. But if you do see a vlog, it's because I couldn't get my shit together to get my plan with me filmed. So anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy today's vlog. Please give this video a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, muchachos.